Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. We've got a super special race room for you today. We're at the Mercedes F1 team's headquarters. We're in their experience center. Loads of trophies on display. Last year's cars down there. Keep an eye on pole position because we're gonna have a full tour of the experience center coming soon. Don't forget to also check out Mercedes YouTube channel. Give them a subscribe. And let's get on with a very exciting race room. <laughs> Coming up on today's show, we've got all the latest from the MotoGP out in Assen. Marc Marquez continuing to dominate. We're talking Rally Poland as well. And you can win this team jacket signed by Nico Rosberg. Keep watching. Right, time for the news, and it was Rally Poland at the weekend. The first time that the World Rally Championship has visited Poland since 2009. Lots to expect, the drivers didn't know what to expect. High verges though, that's what they were looking forward to. And actually two stages had to be cancelled because there was such bad ruts in the road. That was the problem, a lot of cars damaging themselves. But Sebastian Ogier winning yet again, his fifth rally win this season. He did have a huge battle though between him and Andreas Mikkelsen, his teammate from Volkswagen. Mickelson though suffering some brake problems and also making a couple of mistakes which made Sebastian Ogier's life much easier and he was able to cruise to the finish of Rally Poland. Great weekend, I'm so happy. Another victory, great step for the championship. It was a tough one, I had to push really hard to get it. My teammate Andreas this weekend was, was really fast and to make the difference uh, we had to give our best. So, But it's, it was a lot of fun, I, I really enjoyed this race. Thierry Neuville had hard work over the weekend. He had to work his way up from 10th to 3rd. He suffered some brake problems, but he managed to take Hyundai's second podium of 2014. Now though, where does that leave the championship? Well, Sebastian Ogier still cruising out in front. In first place, Yari Mati Latvala, who had some trouble with a damper over the weekend. He's in second place in the championship and making it a 1-2-3 for Volkswagen. Andreas Mikkelsen takes third place. Next round on the calendar though is Rally Finland. It's fast, there are crests, the drivers love it and it is sure to bring even more excitement to the championship. I can't wait. Right, so while World Rally was going on in Poland, the MotoGP boys were out in Assen. It's a popular circuit for the riders. Marc Marquez taking his eighth consecutive win of the season. He's the only rider to have won this season. And uh, it was a very changeable race condition-wise, so much so that the stewards gave the riders two more recce laps. And uh, it was Valentino Rossi who made a very late call to switch to the wet tires. All the other riders choosing to move on to the wet straight away. But Rossi made a late call, which meant he he had to start from the pit lane. So terrible conditions to contend with, but that did not stop Marc Marquez. Check out that pose. I love that. It's like a frog on the back of the bike. So he took his eighth consecutive win. Uh, it was quite a tricky one for him though. He went into the first corner, took the whole shot. It was Alex Espargaro who was on pole, but Marc Marquez straight past him, followed by Andrea Davizioso. And those two then had a massive tussle for the lead, changing the lead four times until finally, when they went back onto the slick tire, Again, as those conditions were changing so much, back onto the slicks, 10 laps from the end after Marc Marquez had run wide, letting Davizioso go through. Marc Marquez takes the lead again and goes on to win it. Six seconds ahead of Davizioso, but there we go, that's the podium. Marc Marquez in first place, Davizioso in second, and in third place, Marquez's teammate Danny Pedrosa. Marc Marquez is just leagues ahead now, though. 200 points he's now got in the championship ahead of Danny Pedrosa and Valentino Rossi, who had joined in second place on 128. It's going to be an incredible championship. Can Marquez go on to win even more races? Comment below and tell us what you think of Marc Marquez. Is he ruining the sport or is it amazing to watch such incredible domination? So big news in the motorsport world. Last night was the global official launch of Formula E. We've heard so much about it. We were there, it was at the Camden Roundhouse, an incredible venue for what is no doubt going to be an incredible inaugural championship of Formula E. This is what was going on last night. There's been so much noise about the very quiet Formula E Championship. It's finally launching officially today in London at the Camden Roundhouse. The drivers are here, the cars are here, and they're throwing one hell of a party.
exciting. How exciting is it to be involved with a championship right from the beginning? It is very exciting and uh, we're all hoping that it is the championship of the future. You know, that's why we're all involved because we believe in it. And um, yeah, it's, every bit of technology that we've got in our road cars that we drive today has originated in some way, shape or form from the race cars. So it's kind of cool being involved in that because you know that what we're doing right here now, you all will be seeing in your road cars in a couple of years time. This is kind of pioneering stuff. Uh, Formula E has been officially announced today. We've had some great announcements. The fact that they've spawned, uh, they've uh, joined BMW as a partner, the fact that we're going to be racing in London. There have been some driver announcements. Obviously mine was made quite a long time ago. I'm driving for the Virgin racing team um, and it's mega exciting for everybody involved. You were with the project before even it was a PowerPoint. What is it like seeing it today with so many people turning up for the launch? Well, it's great. I mean, it's, this, this was a great event. But you know, it's been many, many months of work, and you know, in the back in the in the office and in Donington and with the cars and in the factory. So it's great to see everything coming together. But you know, we can't wait really for the first race. That's when everything will really, really come together. But today was fantastic. We've had driver announcement, team announcements, race announcements, and a huge turnout for a championship that hasn't even started. So I mentioned at the top of the show that you could win the Mercedes AMG Patronus team jacket signed by Nico Rosberg, the current leader of the World Championship. If you want to win it, you need to comment below and tell us which pole position video is your favourite and why. So get watching, get commenting and you could win this. I want you to get involved. Right, now time for What the Camera's Seen. So first up in what the camera's seen, Goodwood Festival of Speed at the weekend. Were you there? Let us know if you were. Send us some of your pictures. But some that we've seen, Felipe Massa here in a Williams car. So nice, isn't it, seeing the two different liveries next to each other now that Williams have Martini on board. I love that little stripe there. So that's one of Proposition's cameramen, actually, uh, doing a little bit of uh, GoPro work with Felipe Massa, like that. And also, Williams was in action with Damon Hill. Check that out. The FW18 B car. Very, very nice to see that out at Goodwood Festival of Speed. Who else have we got? Uh, oh, look at this. Yes, yes, it's uh, John Surtees, Kimi Räikkönen having a little chat there. Very cool, a lot of people all gathered together to watch as well. Check out the spectators, love that. Uh, and uh, there they are up close, John Surtees and Kimi Räikkönen having a little chin wag as you do at Goodwood Festival Speed. Um, so yes, as I said, if you've got any pictures that you want to share with us, why not send them into media at pollpositionp1.com. Time for tweets of the week. What have we got in the tweety jar today? Right, well, Tom Bellingham has tweeted us saying, behind the scenes, pictures from today's FIA World Council meeting, and this is what he's meaning. How are we going to attract new fans to Formula One? Double points, question mark. Standing we starts, question mark. An official YouTube account. Well, we are definitely up for the official YouTube account, but uh, while they don't have one, perhaps you'd like to just look on Mercedes' YouTube channel or Pole Position's YouTube channel and give them a subscribe. Why not? Uh, yeah, double points, standing we starts. What do you think of those? As well comment below and tell us what you think of all these new little tricks that f1's trying to bring in we'd prefer the youtube account right what else red bull india have tweeted saying is that is it possible that adrian newey's latest project is starship enterprise well perhaps who knows could he end up with ben Ainsley racing and sailing will he be more at red bull racing a bit longer we don't know we don't know but maybe spaceship building is his new thing I'm not gonna hold my breath uh next one grand prix diary wow somebody stole alonso his bed while he was sleeping in it. Let me look at this. Oh my goodness me, look at that. He's doing a plank. That's an intense plank. That's when they have to try and train their neck. These F1 drivers have got some solid neck muscles going on there. But yeah, it looks like he's having a quiet little nap. Nice. Uh, and finally, Mark Marquez. I love this. So uh, he says, I don't know which bike to choose. And there he is, look at that. That's choosing between the slick and the wet bike. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. He's like a little monkey hopping between the two. Absolutely love that shot. Poor cameraman, he kind of got a great shot from being right behind Mark Marquez's bum. But there we go, that's your tweets for the week. There's lots going on in the motorsport world today. There is an amazing karting challenge going on down at Brooklands for Henry Surtees. This is what's been going on. <laughs> Confirming what? Thirty-four seconds. That is a hard workout, there, Rob. How was it? <laughs> I mean, the 
but we've been far for quite some time. Ow! I lost this lap where the way we finished. It would have been third. You're joking. It would have been third. I don't even know why they black flagged me. I got black flagged. So if we hadn't got black flagged, we'd have won. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, if I hadn't been black flagged, and you hadn't been black flagged, we would have won. So whose fault is it then? Rob's. De definitely. A thousand percent Rob. No. Because, no. because he Hunter's here too. Right. It's ridiculous that we're even in with, you know, in the podium position at all. Because, uh, you know, these are budding Formula One drivers, they're youngsters, they weigh half the amount we do. Uh, have you ever heard of Sam Bird? We've heard of Sam Bird, yes. I overtook Sam Sammy! Yes, Sam Bird! <laughs> I overtook Sam Bird like he was standing still, you know, he was just so far off the pace. I overtook Tingram. Did you? Tingram. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I drove him off the road as well. How does it feel to have won the Henry Sertes Karting Challenge? Absolutely amazing, to be honest. I couldn't have done it without the team, to be honest. Um, we came into this thinking it was a bit of a fun and a bit of a game, but we ended up winning, winning it compared to um, all F1 drivers and everything. Uh, we beat them all, so it's absolutely amazing feeling to be able to do that. How did it, how did it go out there on track, Will? Um, it was great. We came eighth. Um, and considering we only had one pro uh, in our team, I'd say that was a pretty good result for TW still. What did you, what did you bring to the team? Um, I brought um, pep and spirit and uh, and uh, 43 second laps. I was I was okay. I was go you. You yeah, know it was great fun. Um, an amazing day. And you also looked the part. I have to say. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's to protect my ribs and my bumpy spine. Um, no, incredible day, I've got to say, it's my first time here, first time here for a TW Steel team and um, hugely enjoyable. What a great event um, put on to um, celebrate Henry's life and, uh, and, and, and celebrate John uh, in, a, in a year where he should have been made a sir. As you can see, Rob Austin and his mates are trying to get a lift to the bar. There's been a huge turnout here for the Henry Surtees Karting Challenge. So many people, Team Janetta winning it out on track. Oh, and so many people having a good time, all for a great cause. So an awesome day for Henry Surtees Karting Challenge. Now, what's coming up this weekend? Well, it is the British Grand Prix and we are covering so much. We're going to be at the Grand Prix Ball on Thursday. Then we're filming with Daniel Hunkadella from Force India. He's their reserve driver. I'm going to be having breakfast with him on Friday in his hotel. Then we're going to find out what it's been like for him being part of FP1 for the very first time. Of course, we are then going to be there at the Grand Prix Come and say hello, we might be in the campsite, we might be wandering around if you see my microphone. And don't forget to get in touch to try and win this hoodie. Tell us which pole position video is your favourite and why. Comment below and also keep an eye on the Mercedes AMG Patronus Twitter account over the weekend because we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff with them during the race weekend. We will see you next week from not quite as glamorous a location but I have enjoyed myself immensely at the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team. See you next week. I'm not the candy to the candy shop. I let you, but I let you drop.